first of all, um, I just want to mention, I bet it's weird, isn't it, not having the gaffer there, and I believe you've got an update for us. Yeah, uh, yeah, to start with, obviously, it's such a strange atmosphere without him. Is the energy around the place, you know, that everyone who knows him is a ball of energy bouncing around the place, so we've definitely missed him. But uh, yeah, just an update. He has had, he has been really poorly with it for the last two weeks. Uh, actually was in a intensive care over the weekend, so he has had a really uh, bad case of COVID and it got quite worrying at uh, some point. So uh, yeah, we've been all wishing him well and I know, I know him as a man, as a person, and I know for a fact if anyone was going to take a bad case of COVID out of all of us he'd be the one stood at the front taking it for the team for the players for the staff that's sums him up as a person really so it's been a it's been quite worrying to be honest but just he, he would sacrifice himself in that way but I've spoke to him the last couple of days and I can tell he's getting better his voice is a lot better he's starting to crack a couple of jokes telling me to tell the boys he'll be watching from his hospital bed so they better be at it and stuff like that. So I know he's I know he's improving now, so it's uh kind of a bit of relief to everyone, but it's been a it's been a crazy time to be honest. And I know a lot of the players have been messaging the last couple of days because I've been updating them and I know that's lifted him a little bit as well. So everyone's really together as we have been since the gaffer took over and yeah that's just an update really. But he is he is on the mend and improving so it's uh definitely good signs but like I say it's been a worrying couple of weeks. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to having him back and I'm sure everyone wants to put on a really good performance for him. Yeah definitely uh, the boys want to go there obviously the gaff has just been uh, given manager of the month and we want to go there full of confidence and carry on the way uh, we have been doing which is getting results so yeah we want to and this has given us that like you say that uh, extra bit of incentive to go there and get a good result. And it's fair to say this isn't a, an easy game, but how have we prepared for this one? How's training going to prepare us for this game? Yeah, it's been it's been a strange one, obviously. We had to close the place down, deep cleanse the whole training ground and just let everybody who had the virus recover. Uh, retested everybody and everyone's come back negative, which is good. Uh, there's, I'd say that there's been things put in place, but everything was put in place beforehand. We were being really careful. Gaffer was probably the carefulest out of everybody. He wouldn't open a door without a tissue in his hand. He was really careful, so it's crazy how it happens, but it does. It's happened up and down the country, as we've seen other football teams as well, but we've travelled on separate buses to away games, had individual rooms in hotels, so it happens at the end of the day. But yeah, it's been training's been crazy. It's been me and Dave Longwell, so we've had no fitness the fitness coach has been off the goalkeeper coach it's been quite difficult but we've juggled it well and the boys have trained really hard when they've since they've come back in and it's been a really good group effort from everybody and i think because the gaffer's attention to detail is so good it's kind of put us in good stead that we've just carried on kind of the traits that he left us with a couple of weeks ago so uh yeah it's been it's opened mine and dave's eyes to live in the manager's shoes for a couple of days it's in the middle of a transfer window and stuff. It's been a bit crazy, but uh, no, it's been good. I've enjoyed going it. In, going into the game, it's a, it's a really exciting tie, isn't it? And they've got some, some incredible players, full international. So what are we expecting from the tie? Yeah, like you say, they're a great team and they're, they're doing well in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, beat Liverpool a couple of weeks ago, rated as the best team in the country at the moment. So yeah, we're expecting a difficult, a difficult game, obviously away from home as well. And it's... A chance for the lads, our lads, to go there and prove themselves against good opposition, like you say, international players. How strange is it for you going into a game as kind of the leading figure quite early on in your your coaching career? Yeah, it is a strange feeling. I think this this time last year I was playing in the FA Cup for Rochdale against a Premier League side and as a standing manager a year later, it is crazy to think of it like that. But no, I'm looking forward to it. Me and... Me and Dave have been working really hard together and we're both looking forward to roasting the challenge and we want to get that performance right so that when the gaffer is watching on, he's proud of the team. So we've just been aiming to do that, really. What are your personal memories of the FA Cup? Are there any fixtures that really stand out for you? Yeah, I think, like I say, this time last year, um, they made a big deal with a goal I scored against Newcastle for Rochdale because it was a 40-year-old assisted by a... 16 or 17 year old I think it was last season so there was a lot made of it that was a big memory for me and I think it was uh, when it came about that I'd scored in four decades and stuff that goal so 
that was a massive moment for me in the FA Cup last season and obviously a year later to have this uh, opportunity to go there with the team is uh, another special moment. How are the squad fitness and injury wise? Is there any fresh concerns going into this one? To be honest, obviously we've had to let everyone recover, the lads who did have it and stuff, but they came back in on Friday and me and Dave were so impressed with, you would, they didn't look like a group who'd had 10 days off to be honest. So. They've obviously been looking after themselves with the programmes that we'd set them to do while they were off and they, they came back in and just hit the ground running and training was a lot better than we thought it would be. So that was a massive bonus and then they've continued that right through the week. So it's been really good. Just a couple more from me. Uh, I believe you've met Harry Chapman, Matthew Pennington and I'm, I'm not too sure about David Davis, but really good guys and, and some good characters to have in the team. Yeah, all three have met David Davis as well. Yeah, all three great characters, like you say, great players, and they'll be massive additions for us. And they've settled into the group really well. I think a couple of them already new players, which always helps. So they've settled in straight away, even though it has been a difficult time with what's been going on. They've still managed to settle into the group really quickly, which has helped. The last one from me. I know we have a, a massive, massive task in front of us, but how strange is it knowing who you might have in the next couple of rounds? Yeah, it's a new one. It's uh, it is quite a strange one, but it's a, it's an extra incentive, like you say. It's an, another Premier League side, so I know that'll be exciting the boys, and that'll probably give us that extra energy we need going into the tie with Southampton.